I hate doing this, okay? And I'm oh, going to tell you. my God. If you guys are ready. about to happen. I hate doing this more myself than to you, the Tolos. But watching this week of football, I think the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. And I, and I won't oh at this God. point. I, told you I won't week. be surprised or shocked if they win at all. Just stop using that. I, I, I've watching the football that I've watched and, you know, choppy and Sean have the argument on who watches more football and there's Tolos out there that watch more football than me. But I think the Cowboys are the best team in the NFL. And maybe that'll change over the next eight to nine weeks. And maybe they'll totally disappoint me like they did in 2016 or they did in 2007. I didn't feel like watching that game with Corey going to Green Bay that they were going to win. I never thought in 2014 they are the best team, but I thought maybe they're good enough to win three games and then get to the Super Bowl. In 2007, I thought they were going to the Super Bowl and probably going to lose to the Patriots. That's what I thought. In 2016, I thought... This is the best team in the NFL. Wow. And I, it's going to be tough to win with a rookie quarterback, but dang it, after that first week of the season, they just keep getting better and better. We're going to do it. And they disappointed me in 07 and 16, and, and maybe I'm just setting myself up again for the ultimate disappointment of truly believing. But right now, going into this Kansas City game, I think the Cowboys are the best team in the NFL. And that's coming is that from thunder. Is that's that thunder coming. Rolling? That's coming. <laughs> it feels like that's coming from happening. a person who he picked them the to be eight and nine. Okay. I just, <laughs> I, I picked them to be eight and nine. I was totally wrong about this team. Mm -hmm. the, okay. And they won forty three to three this last game against a team that was four and four. I get at the end of the year, probably Atlanta is going to be seven and ten. I'm going to guess, but. I just watching Green Bay play against Seattle. That's watching my LA play against San Francisco. Watching some of the teams that we're gonna compete against recently play football. I go, hold on. I think we're the best team in the NFL. And and you maybe I'm Green stupid Bay, for you believing. Just watch this. Green Bay shut out Seattle, I and did. you don't think they're good enough to beat the Cowboys? I think they can. Like and that's that's Aaron Rodgers coming off of COVID yeah. and saying he was completely drained, not by just the events of the week, but I mean having COVID in general and then trying to play football. That that team I right now is too good in my mind. I don't want to believe this. I don't want to say it, but I am believing it, and now I'm saying it. I think the Cowboys, with eight games left in their season, are the best team in the NFL. And they don't and have to play change. Green Bay on the way to get there yet. Like they would have to play them in the playoffs, but they don't have to play them this season to prove any of that wrong. You you we've discussed so, this like what you're seeing in this yeah. in the regular season here, Kansas City, Arizona, those are your your huge challenges I mean, along the way. They're 7 and 2 and DeMarcus Lawrence hasn't played a second. Or he maybe played a second. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just I, Lyle Collins and Tyron Smith haven't played a game together. I I think this is insane that you're using the S word with this Dak team right Prescott now. Dak Prescott might be the best quarterback in the NFL, and that's tough to believe because, yes, there is a Patrick Mahomes, and you are taking him on. And maybe in the whole second half we go, yep, Patrick Mahomes is by far the best quarterback. He just had a bad start to the season. I mean, there's things that can go wrong for the Cowboys. But right now... I look at this team and watch them play and watch the turnovers and watch the defense be better than average. I get they get and, and maybe this will all change. And I watch Dak Prescott besides that Denver game. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. I get there's arguments for five or six quarterbacks in the NFL, but he's in the conversation. There's arguments for six to eight teams in the NFL, but the Cowboys might be the best team. I, I just feel like, in the year that I doubted them the most, that they're probably going to be the best. The Cowboys have played nobody, right? That's what we all say. Ha ha ha. But take a further examination of the schedule. This weekend, the Dallas Cowboys will play a current playoff team in the Kansas City Chiefs. Thus far, the Dallas Cowboys have played five non-playoff teams. They're four and one against those teams. They have played three, excuse me, four playoff teams. They are three and one against those teams. Did you tell me they're playing nobody? The Cowboys combined opponent record is 40 and 36. Is when you good? don't factor in, that's above 500. Okay. So the Cowboys average game this season, when you don't factor in the Cowboys whipping that ass, 
is 40 and 36. So the average team they play is better than 500. This will be their 10th game against their fifth playoff opponent, which sounds about right. You half the teams you've played are not in the playoffs, half are. That's actually harder than usual because only 14 of the 32 teams in the NFL make the playoffs. I don't know if I'm totally like Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl, yeah. but I get mad. The thing that makes me mad is when people are like, oh, the Cowboys aren't good. You guys are homers. Take a look. at. We'll do power ranking the power rankings tomorrow. I bet every single reputable source puts the Cowboys in the top five or six. And if you're the top five or six in the league, that makes you a Super Bowl contender. How does it not? I just look at the other teams. The reason I'm saying this, and just if you if you're a new listener, I usually crap all over the Cowboys more than an elephant can crap. Mm. Okay, that's how much I do it because I get so mad at the Jones family and what they've done to this franchise over a 20 plus year history now. But watching this team and watching Dak and watching the defense be able to turn the ball over and figure out a way how to get uh, you know offenses off the field. They're 10th in points allowed. They're number one in turnovers, I believe. I haven't looked that up, but I would just, looking at this season, I can't imagine a team is, has more turnovers on defense than what the Cowboys have created this year. Everything's going right for the Cowboys, and it's tough for me to look at Tampa or Green Bay, or Arizona, or the Rams. Those are the competitors in the NFC and go, yep, they're better than us. To Corey's point, can one of those teams beat us in the playoffs? For sure. The Cowboys might have a game where they don't play their best. They don't get the turnovers. The other team does. Like, I can see the Cowboys losing in the playoffs. But right now, as it stands, in my power rankings, which I haven't even done, I have the Cowboys as the best team in the NFL, and I'm probably going to be wrong, and I'm probably going to throw up in my mouth at some point in the playoffs because the Cowboys didn't do what I think they're capable of doing at this point.